In this video, you will learn how to clone any singer's voice. Part 1. Creating the dataset. Open your web browser and make sure that you are logged in with your Gmail. Open the Google Collab Dataset Maker project link in the video description. Click and run step 1. Then click run anyway. Step 1 will start working. In this step, we install the basic needs for preparing the dataset. This step takes approximately 2 minutes. After completing the first step, a small check mark will appear next to the step. Then step 2. In this step, we will upload the songs files of the singer you want to clone his voice. It is preferable to use at least 3 songs. Run step 2. A choose files button will appear. Click on it and upload the songs files. Then step 3. In this step, the program will create a dataset file from the uploaded songs files. It will remove the music and keep only the singer's voice, and remove any silence moments. Then merge all files to a single file of dataset. Run step 3. The step will start working. After the third step is completed, a small check mark will appear next to the step. Then the step 4. In this step we will download the dataset file. Run step 4. Within seconds, a window to save the file on your device will appear. After that disconnect from Google Collab. From top menu click Runtime. Disconnect and delete Runtime. Click Yes. Part 2. Training the model. Open the Google Collab project link, or VC model training. Click and run main step. This window will appear. Click run anyway. After that the step will start working. In this step we will do the basic installation of our VC. This step takes approximately 5 minutes. After the step is finished, a small check mark will appear next to the step. Then step 1. In this step, we will upload the dataset file that we prepared previously. Run step 1. A choose files button will appear. Click on it and choose the dataset file. Then step 2. In this step, we will specify the name of the model, and the program will prepare the dataset file that was uploaded. Here I will write the name of the model. The model name must be in English and without spaces or symbols. I will write singer underscore voice. Do not change this selection. Leave it at rmp underscore GPU. Run step 2. Then step 3. In this step we will train the model. Here we write the same model name that we specified previously. Here we will specify the number of epochs on which the model will be trained. The number of epochs is what determines how much the model is trained on the dataset. It is preferable to be between 200 and 1000. Here I will train the model at 100 for the purpose of tutorial. Leave saving frequency on 20. After that run step 3. This step takes time depending on the number of epochs that have been set. Here you will notice that training has begun on the epochs number. After the training is finished, a small check mark will appear next to the step. Next is a very important step. It saves the trained model on Google Drive, so we can use it later in voice cloning. 
Write here the name of the model you trained. Run step 4. This window will appear for you to link Google Collab to Google Drive, so that you can upload the model files directly to your Google Drive from Google Collab. After linking is complete, the process of saving the model on Google Drive will begin. This will take approximately 4 minutes. After the backup is complete, a small check mark will appear next to the step. If you go to your Google Drive, you will find a new folder named RVC underscore packages. Open this folder and wait until a file appears for you with the name of the model that was trained. Go back to Google Collab and disconnect. Part 3. Using the model's voice to sing any song. Open the Google Collab project, make the model sing any song. Run the main step. This window will appear. Click Run anyway. After that the step will start working. This step takes approximately 5 minutes. After the step is completed, a small check mark will appear next to the step. After that, loading the model from Google Drive. Here we will write the name of the model. Here we will paste the model link. Go back to Google Drive. Right click on the model file. Choose Share. Then Share. Change general access from restricted to anyone with the link. Then click copy link. Go back to Google Collab and paste the model link. After that run the step. When loading the model is complete, a small check mark will appear next to the step. After that, the first step in the process of creating the new song. Run the step 1. A Choose Files button will appear. Click on it and select the target song that you want the model to sing. After the uploading and song analysis process is complete, a small check mark will appear next to the step. Then Step 2. In this step, the original singer's voice in the target song will be replaced by the model's voice. Here, type the name of the model that you loaded from Google Drive. In this part you can adjust the pitch settings. If you want to convert the voice from a male to a male or a female to a female, the value will be zero. If you want to convert the voice from a female to a male, the value is minus 12. If you want to convert the voice from a male to a female, the value is 12. Don't change anything here. Then run the step. After completion, a check mark will appear next to the step. Then step 3. In this step we will download the new song. Run step 3. Within seconds you will see a window to save the new song on your device. I definitely will not be able to play the song due to copyrights on the song. If you want to apply the process to another song or change the model, you do not need to run the main step. Just run the necessary steps to load the model and upload the target song, then complete the rest of the steps. After completion, you must disconnect from Google Collab. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.